Hi, Isa. Good afternoon. How are you doing? We'll st I'll start at in a few minutes more. Let's hold on till a few more people come on. That's all right. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. I am here this afternoon with our BV Triumph Village report. We had a bit of technical issues. I started the program and my computer just went just shut down on me, so and I could not get back in into the live. Now today is the one hundred and eighty second anniversary of our community, Metro Acting and Triumph. BV was bought on this on this day one hundred and eighty two years ago. And I'm hoping that this afternoon we can reflect on BV, on what we have done as a community, on what we hope to see happening to our community in the future. When I say in the future, I'm talking in the near future and maybe in the long-term future. So because of this, I did not have a set pro I do not have a set agenda for this afternoon because I know everyone will will, will be here. Most of you may want to make a contribution. So I don't want to pigeonhole anybody to say, well, look, we only had two minutes to discuss this and five minutes to discuss the other. So the program is normally is done in such a way that on the second Sunday, we will look at issues that we need to raise at the, at the next council meeting. And on the fourth Sunday, we'll I'll bring back a report on what was done and what we need to do to ensure that we can get things done. So far for the year, since I've been doing these meetings, I must say that I, your participation has been good. And I think because of that, we have had some successes with things that we were not pleased with at the level of the council. But today, I don't think we should focus on the council. Let's focus on our village. I see in the live, I have Miss Aza Inis, or rather Mrs. Aza Inis and Paul. Aza, thanks for waiting through the blackout that I gave that happened. I don't know why it happened, but these are things that do happen sometimes where we are depending on other people's technology. I don't have a control over that. Um, so, any if you would like to make any opening statement before we continue, either of you who are on the live for now, it's okay. Now, since the last meeting, I am aware that there was an excavator operating in Triumph here. I don't know if it went over to BV. And that excavator has relief, has brought some amount of relief to people in my na immediate neighborhood. And I must say this was because of complaints I made to the NDIA, that's the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority. They sent this small a mini excavator and some drainage works were done. However, I was kind of not too happy in that 
in discussing with the chairman, he was present. He attempted to get the overseer to send the trailer to move some stuff, but the, the overseer was not in office. And in the subsequent days that the equipment was here, nothing was done on our from our end towards assisting the trailer, the excavator. They worked through Ogle Street, and yes, they have brought some relief, but I think more could have been done if the councils are treated this issue with some amount of seriousness. Because, you know, in August Street, most of the bridges are just at the water level or below the water level, some of them are, are going. So that excavator could not have gone below those bridges. In other words, what I'm saying is that they should have had some people with manual tools, whether they be shovels or hose, whatever, to make some pass to clear some passage below those bridges. So the fellas digged around the bridges and then the slush that was on, under the bridge fell back the thing, but at least it, it allowed some amount of drainage. Had they cleared under the bridge, I think we, the people in the Ogle Street would be better served. I hope in future this would this would have been a, a learning lesson for the chairman and, and those involved in the administration, so that in future such activities will be accompanied by manual labor to ensure where the excavator cannot work, it's done manually. Uh, in terms of our anniversary, I know that we in Itame would normally be doing some things at this year, this point in time in the in the community. But because of COVID, we were not meeting. And then of late, the building which we've been occupying, it's we had some an interaction with the government in which they were very, very acid, some officers saying that oh, they want the building back for use for the, by the youths within the success in uh, losing that neighborhood. However, my the, my the other members in it may felt that we should hand over the building, but I had a discourse with another villager recently, and he reminded me that that building, like all the other uh, buildings, erected by the government under the President you Choice Initiative were intended for the communities in which they located. So there's no way that we should allow the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture on the Minister, what's his name, Ramson, to bulldoze us into giving that building back to the government for their use in whatever propaganda campaign they needed to, to use it for. It is intended for the people of BV and Trump, and so it shall, should be, right? So we as a community, we should, we should try to ensure that that building remains at the disposal of only BV and Triumph uh, people the, for this community. They may want to say, well, the eight of me is not a youth group, but there are many young people in it. We, have, we, did, we have been servicing the young people in this community, and we will continue to service the young people of the community. Right. Now, with regards to our anniversary, what has BV done for us as a community? What has this community offered some of us over the years? We know the Backlands has been offering sustenance. And this sustenance from the Backland began from the time we bought our village, because initially most of our, our people were, well, the entire village were a farming, it would be were a farming community. Though some people try to tell us that we are not farmers. When I say we, I'm talking to the original owners of BV Triumph, though we now have other people in the village, but the original inhabitants were farmers. So I do not see why their children cannot be farmers or considered knowledgeable to farm, right? All we need at this point in time is to 
have some mechanism whereby we can have access to our backlands. I know Brother Paul is waiting, uh, willing to go to ensure that his, the few beds that he has under his name could be farmed. Sister Aza, I don't know of your family's inheritance in the back dam, but I'm pretty sure you have back dam lands. Yes, so I do. Um, right now, right now, a relative of mine is uh, farming my, my beds. Okay. Gold farming my beds. That's where um, gold okay, is working. Okay, okay, okay. So, you see, we need to get. So, you have access to all your lands? Is there, a, it's, it's all of your lands are accessible? Because I know yes, you, yes, people yes. generally I, have in I have different two sections. Pieces. Right, I have two pieces and, and they're both um, accessible. Accessible, okay, that's uh -huh. good. Well, unlike Paul, he's got his in section F, most of his in section F, and they are definitely not accessible at this point in time. Right? No. Until we can start the discourse on BV, I will just bring you up to date with what's happening with the attempted sale of section G. To date, the council has not returned the money to John Finance Limited. We are still, there, there is an attempt to have us meet to John Finance because some members of the council are fearful that should we just give back the money, even though John Finance has publicly said that they have no interest in the land. People are fear, some people are fearful that they can be, we can be clapped with a lawsuit. But personally, I don't think it should be the council that is clapped with a lawsuit or the community. It is those people who felt that they could have sold people's lands. And personally, I feel if that should happen, finances should not come from the council's coffers because those people were aware that the lands belongs to private individuals. If not all of them, they were significant numbers of them who were aware of it. And among those two significant ones are the ones, some of them are the ones who were pushing it most vigorously. Elton, before you go on, um, when they when they collected this money, what what, what happened to it? What what happened they, uh, to the money that they collected? Well, what they what I heard from them, because I was not on the council, they have the money. Maybe they had utilized some, but because of collections from rates and taxes, they now have the money, I would assume. But they have the money and they wait. According to the chairman, they want to give it. He instructed the overseer to, to make the payment. The overseer told him point blank that he cannot do that unless there's a request from John Finance. So we have been, we have requested a meeting. I think they have requested the meeting because that should have been for last month. But at last month's meeting, it was said that the letter to John Finance was not sent. So there's a promise to send a letter to John Finance since the last meeting for us to have that meeting. And I've not heard of the meeting being scheduled as yet. Maybe it's scheduled, it was scheduled because sometimes some of us are not told what is happening on the council. But what I have asked the council to do is to write to that lawyer who wrote to us indicating that she, our client is willing and ready and able to conclude the deal because John Finance in that at the same time was saying they are no longer interested. So in my mind, I'm saying maybe they had another deal with somebody else. Which because this all of these things are shrouded were shrouded in secrecy. There was a lot of secrecy because believe you me, 60% of the people on the council were not aware of the, that the price was fixed, that monies were handed over, and all of these things. So, so they, yes, they brought it to the council and to, yes, we want to sell and people agreed, but people, they were, they, the council never decided on a price. At that level, a price was not decided. So the price which was finally uh, fixed was done by a few people. How few they were, 
I'm not sure I can only speculate, right? So the rest of the council, they all claim innocence. We didn't know, we were waiting to fix a price. Well, the price was fixed, monies were collected and they didn't know. And according to the chairman, the document was leaked. So they got caught because the document was leaked. Um, let me find out, is the council at full strength? Um, I would say about 80%. Yeah, 80%. We are two persons who do not attend meeting. One was not sworn in and one, it's above 80%, and one is all the way in Region 9 working. So we have 16 of 18 presently. So it's almost 90, 80 something percent. So two, because one, the one from Region 9, she would come out every now and then. She was at two meetings back, not the last meeting. Because that's where she's posted to work. Um. I, I, I don't want to be talking too much, but can I voice no, a no, disappointment? No. The, yes, the, counselors, uh, the counselors are hardly known to people. Uh, at, at, least, at least to me, maybe because I was, you know, I wasn't here for a period well, of time, see, but I hardly it, know it um, is, who are the counselors of the villagers, if they're people who are, have the village at heart, the interests of the village at heart, and all of that. I, I, I don't know. It is why I have decided that I will have these bi-monthly meetings because yes, we may not all have time to go and call a meeting, but I'm saying with this meeting, I was anticipating other councils would join me, but nobody seems to want to. So I'm here alone on this in this crusade. I think councils, the councils should be reporting to the community on a regular basis of what is happening at the council level. Especially from what I've observed since I've been on the council, there is one councillor who is objecting to members of the public coming to disturb, in his mind, disturb council meetings. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't want them to meet you, then you should come and meet them. You know, so basically that is why what, I'm- What's really, happening? Uh, uh, um, what's happening? What, what what is happening to uh, maybe once one or every quarter a quarterly meeting with the community? I remember them them old men used to sit down downstairs at the market there and and have meetings with, with the public. Yes, you know? I know so that. So what's happening with that? What what's happening with things like that? I am that? aware of that. On all on for the more those old men, Paul's father and Mr. Duncan and them. If you had an issue, you could have gone up to the concert at meeting days and talk to them. Take your problems to them, but these people are saying, no, it's a waste of council's time, according to one councillor. He, he has been walking out on meetings. He did it three times since I'm there. I went there December month. So we had December, January, February, March. April meeting of three of those meetings, he walked three or five meetings, he walked out. Because the public is coming to disturb them. I, you know, and believe you me, I do not think that so many people would have been going to the council if they didn't do that nonsense they did. That is trying to but sell. And then the village has a multitude of problems yes and and um because of the fact that you hardly know the councillors and the chairman is unapproachable you know people must want to go up to the meeting to voice their you know um disapproval in uh, uh, things that uh, how things are happening for instance this this trench in front by me is in a terrible state yes. the bridge that is in front of me is in a terrible state you know, I don't have money to build a bridge like everybody else, but that the bridge in front of me is a village bridge, and I yes. thought that the council would um would repair it. But the thing uh, is, to time, be honest with you, the 
Kong Su seems to have been reneging on that responsibility because it is, in my view, that is, I'm not, this is not Kong Su's official view from my, that because so many other people, so many people are building these private bridges, they don't see the need to maintain a village bridge. Oh, I see. But but that bridge, um, if if the councillors had were aware of the origin or how that bridge came about and why that bridge was built, I think they would pay. They should pay some more interest. I think that they was, should. Was that constructed bridge... by the. It was constructed by the Atomy movement, in the yes. form that it is constructing. It, it is um, constructed in, and there was a plaque at the end of it on one side, on the eastern side, that says, in remembrance of our whole parents. And I saying, see. you know, we say uh, that's how they used to, the, the type of bridge that was built is how they used to go to the farmlands. That that's is why that bridge was built like that. That structure should remain as an, as exactly. an example of what we, what our people parents in their, even it, to, I'm not in no intent to insult them simplistic way of solving an issue they had. They were using boats to travel along that canal. <coughs> the canal, which was a lifeline between the uh, township and the backlands, the farmlands, the, the, the place of where they earned their living where they were able to produce food to, to feed themselves and children, where they were able to plant produce to sell, to make monies, to build homes and, and to send their children to school. So I didn't even go to, so far to say that canal was like a super highway. It was a highway. Yeah, it so, was. It was. You used to, got to go down, use the canal to go down there to throw manure on your cane in order to get a couple of cents and a, a little sugar from the estate and things like that. If they know the history of it, I think it, it will be different, but because of who the councillors are or may be, they have no idea of, you know, of what of the, 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 the real, real purpose um, of that bridge or why it was built like that. It's not for just people to walk over. Everybody could build a bridge across the trench, but that one yeah, that was in so remembrance of our in your parents. Boat. When you sit in your boat, you could have crossed, you could have passed any bridge without uh, it in yes. your head. Yes. So it had to be a raised bridge. Yes, yes. They had so many along the, along the, 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 the um, canal. That's what, that, that that's how those bridges were built. That is why yes. those bridges were built like that. Mm -hmm. But you see, People come like never to see, come see them drop, them come fly by night and drop in the place and then feel that they could run things. You know, and that's where we are today. It's a bit sickening. <laughs> it's sickening. Because, you know, you know, unfortunately, I see so many things and um, would like to talk about them and, and would like to see action on them, but I don't want people, you know, uh, because I, I had a running with your chairman already, and I don't want I don't want anything like that. So, you um, know, is I am. There's a saying: things go wrong when good people remain silent. Agreed. Agreed. So, stop being silent. But then, but then if 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 if. If you, you talk and, and because I've got um I've got the idea that people are not interested in the village, people don't want to see development, people are just there for um personal personal reasons. You know. And if we all sit by I, I there, there's so much I want to do or I can do or would like to do, but I don't have there must be a framework back in you People need, we need a framework within which people can come and say, look, tomorrow I want to do this. There are some children I want to help at, who I know are not fun functioning. Well at listen, listen, I did, exactly, I did exactly that one time when I came home and that's when I had the problem with the, with the, with the chairman. 
you know. I came over and I organized, like you said, I organized self-help and, and, you know, in order to get it, the canal cleaned and it was a big, a, a big issue with, with, with um, himself and I. So I just, I just said, that's it. You know, we, I am hoping that we can have within this new structure, somebody want to help some child. We must be able to say, look, Mary daughter just passed common entrance and we know Mary can't really afford to send you to school every day. Yeah, yeah, you like see, the, 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 if I stand up to talk, there there's sportsmen in this village that the council, um, they, they don't, they didn't even acknowledge them. We have, we have footballers. Yeah, we got two footballers. Um, representing who Guyana. Who we have footballers, foot, a, a footballer who has gone to play for a, a, a club in, in, in the States. Yes. We have a, a, a basketball player who has gotten a scholarship and is in the States. Well, I didn't right know about now. that one. I didn't know about the basketball well, exactly, player. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry, I can't know everything, but I would have. Yeah, been happy. right. You know. that, that, that is a little. And he, on, I do, I'm praying for him because he had a brother who had an a, a, a athletic scholarship and he had to leave because he didn't get assistance. Oh, this is this boy, their yard children, Cliffy's children. Okay. The father is dead. And the, the mother is struggling with them. So the little one, he is playing basketball in the States. And uh, when I spoke to him, uh, he said, he, I think he has a sister that is um, he's going, he, he's staying at, and he goes to school in Manhattan. Mm. And he lives in the Bronx. So obviously, that child got to travel yes. to get to school and all those things. Now, the council, I don't know if, if the councillor will do those things. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in we order should have some mechanism some way. whereby we know it, at this ground, ground zero level knows about that. We, we make contact with the BV troop in, in New York for them to make sure that well things are taken care of for that young exactly. man. Exactly. 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 Those are the kind of structures. The, uh, the other, the other worrying thing um, that that. I came on specifically to talk about is um, how we treated Henry, regardless of where Henry went to school or where Henry did what or whatever. Henry is a Baronian. Henry, when we had ATMA activities, I did write something, and Henry and Howard Larimer came and they performed, and they, 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 um, you know, they. It was so good. Henry is a, it was a Baronian, yeah. and BV did absolutely nothing, <sighs> nothing at all for Henry Rodney. Oh, all that I happened, am... he came up, went straight to the grave, um, to, to, to the tomb. Within, he, the, the body wasn't even open. No, well, BV. there were some glitches there, I must admit, with Henry T. Because a group of us, I was approached. That and asked that if he to me could have chipped in to do some things for him. And we offered yes, but then when we approached the family, we were told, you no, know, we given some guidelines on which we can uh, we can do what we, we we were thinking of. And eventually we were able to do some things, but it was not publicized, right? in terms of assisting to ensure that the, the funeral will take place. But it, we, were, we intended to make it, we were, we were going to the television and making, you know, uh, making some announcements and uh, but they said, no, don't do that. They didn't want that. Time. And let me tell you, every program I listen in um, from, from the Buxtonians, they claim Henry. You know. Every you know. single program that I was listening you know. from the Buxtonians. Yes, the Buxtonians claiming because they, they say he been to school there. Exactly. We did not do anything much again, I say. We don't have, we, were, we intended to go to Alagala. Myself and Owen Dazel spoke of it. But as I said, we spoke to the family and they, they were not too, because they said people are doing things in Henry's name, which they didn't approve. So, before things get out of hand, let me stand down on that. So I agree that more could have been done and we really thought it out better and so on. Uh, 
you know. Because Henry was with us in Tribet. I don't know if you remember Tribet Culture Club. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I, I, I okay. know. I know. I was there. I know. Oh, yes. You I were know. part of Tribet. Sorry, Oh, Ma. yes, I was. <laughs> yes, I was. All right. I know. So, it's, so it been since I, I as um, on behalf of Tribet, I said, well, this has stopped. Then it, what's his name? Came in and, and talked to me and said, yes. Yes, if it may could have gone up, joined with him and we agreed, but then he said, Let me talk to the family to let them to tell them what we plan to do. And you know, they were kind of apprehensive that things might get out of hand, you know, if they just keep telling people to do their own thing, you know. Maybe if we didn't ask them and just went ahead like the Bostonians did, it might exactly. I think they had a week on the twenty seventh, and it wasn't. I want one. How I knew about it is when I, I was um going I went to that week. I went to the huh? week and he, yeah, I, I, week I was and going. I didn't and, see um, long. Geoffrey just said, um, you know, they got big that the twenty seventh, but. I didn't, I didn't really, you know, because I said a whole set of people don't come and they might have a program and this and that. So I didn't, I didn't go out because I didn't know anything proper was planned. Well, so, I don't know. a part of what we were doing was to be said we would have gone, gone ahead and take over the week and all kind of thing. And, you know, but as I said, the family didn't want that kind of thing to, you know, because it can go a while if we say, well, look, we keep in a week for Henry and this is what we, you know, people, other people might decide they keep in something for Henry and, and are going to trick somebody. Nothing busy. <laughs> no, at least nothing busy. No, maybe that's somewhere what, else. And, uh, he at was, least he was busy. We were saying that's what we want. That's one of the things we said we would have been doing. No, discussing it. Let the village keep awake and you know, encourage people to bring out whatever they can and support it. All right, all right. So we stood down on that. You know. Yeah. Um, but what I would have some I was hoping to get Adam, I promise he would have been out here with us. I tried to get Justice, what's his name? Uh Pandit from Marcus Shiro was Pandit's son name. He's sick, Prem Posad, because he had done a, uh, some some articles on BV some time back, which he published. So to let me discuss BV and so on. But he's sick. In fact, he left the country today for medical att uh, attention. You know, I hope when really... we as the Etomay movement had had a, 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 an anniversary, he was there. Prem Posad yeah. was there. Yeah. And um, Henry and and and. You know, oh, but look, oh, so it's sad how things fall. I think it really fall apart. You know, COVID is a big was a big thing. You know, is yeah, I know. So we can't dismiss. We don't beat up ourselves too much. Well, I I don't know what was happening before COVID really because I wasn't here. So yeah, well, it may was still functioning, but then with COVID, we uh, we couldn't meet up. And since COVID, because of this issue with the ministry and the building, we have not, in fact, we are considering asking for the Jack, so Donald Jackson's building, but that is controlled by the council. And we feel, it is felt that they might tell us no, but I will still go forward with the request. <laughs> you know how it is going. All right. Our elder day to me movement, you know how to get no building. They used to keep meeting on the meals and all. So. That that was that was that's well how it used to go. So uh, uh look, it's not it's anyway. Anyway, I don't know. You see, in these some people feel that organizations must not be meeting at a private residence. Though we all know organizations that have been meeting at private residence over the years. Yeah, wait, wait, what, what used to happen on the teacher IV house? Wait, wait, PNC yeah. meeting used to PNC um, number two group used to meet. Maybe know that, you know. Right, so, right. So that is that, that is some time in no, memorial. But, no, no, it's not something that somebody said recently, it's just that we they said 
we couldn't get our buildings so let me look at that, sir donald jackson's building but i'm now telling you about another school of thought that i'm aware of that people usually say if you have an organization you should try not to be meeting at people at private residences because at the end of the day some people may want to exercise more authority on what is on the proceedings than no you will not get that uh, kind of participation yes so what used to happen with um when they when they, they, they some people took over um the emancipation group where the meeting used to keep well not in at jerome place exactly exactly and for years it went there exactly <laughs> exactly so me yeah, no man i don't know how people are looking at things now i must come from the old school and and just look at things differently so i'm i'm I always a different story so young people looking at things differently yeah you know so paul you're silent today yeah um i was just listening i used to good night um hey good night paul uh-huh I've been listening because uh, with the thing with Henry, I have the same concern. That I went to the service at the culture center tower, and I was disappointed that there was no um, part in the program, or perhaps somebody from the EV to give a um, tribute on behalf of the community. Exactly. I was disappointed because I, I, had, I had expected, if not the council, some arrangements that have been made for someone to officially speak on behalf of um, of the community, and I did not. I uh, made a point not to uh, arrogate unto myself that responsibility. So I remained silent. I went there and did silent. You know, anyhow. So they, they, well, I, I guess in, in respect to the eight May movement and all that, because the call to me today that, um, I mean, today's the anniversary, I posted something there which got a lot of um, comments and so on. Yeah. Um, the, the publicity, because people around don't know what is going on. And I want to think that now that so much is being done virtually, that perhaps um, some sustained effort can be made to have the group more um, active and more visible online. Well, we'll be meeting next Saturday online. I hope we, the members will turn out. I did indicate to some, to some of them that, you know, ask them if they can be at this meeting, but we are not seeing anybody else with me. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> seeing any. This is <laughs> who, 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 who are the, the, the people are on ATMA now? Who are the executives? Well, the chair is uh, Leticia. Uh, mm -hmm. The secretary is uh, Debbie, what's her, Parker. The treasurer, I think it's... Uh, Dikidima Uto. I'm mm. on the I'm a, I'm there on a, as a member also. And you have a few other people. Oscar Glasgow and some others. I like anyway. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm saying that um, something needs to be it's, done because it's it not only it to me, I'm saying BV people because yeah, we don't I, know who the councillors are and all that. So yeah, that's what I said. I, we don't know who the councillors are. I put out this meeting as a discourse to be a discussion on BV. BV people didn't come out, so I won't beat up on the few way to make people who didn't come. No, it's, it's, I mean, it's sad. Look, you, you, I, I like to make it the few of us. I yeah. Mean, um, I, I believe that we got to perhaps those of us who are still interested in this related information, come the strategy to communicate people and get communicate more with people and get them involved. Because yeah. it's very disappointing to hear uh, on the second report, um, Sunday's 
And then you get three or four people and all the time. Exactly, exactly. You give time, you're, you're giving up the time to be here with the expectation of others will show interest. And we can discuss right. it. I said it on more than one occasion um, that we have become a, a very selfish people. You know, everybody um, now is I. And BV people have stopped saying we. And that, unless that changes, you know, nothing can happen. It's everybody yeah. just looking at themselves. You know. Uh... One, of the things, one of the things that we got to um, consider too, uh, I know, I think the last occasion when they had no political election, they can be contested. Now it is strange that you're likely to get a um, local government election sometime soon this year or early next year. And you, you, I mean, you don't want to sit back and just wait until you get local government and then you can wait for the game. We got to win the game. Yeah, because I, I'm, wondering, I'm wondering to know if people are keeping abreast of actually what is going on. Because it, what is happening is that I see that anything can happen at any time. So, and we're not prepared. Nobody is prepared at all. The local okay, government why, why? election, the government said it will be this year, but I, I know it cannot happen this year because yeah, but that, there must but be is, some sort of agreement between them and the APNU. Yeah, but I, I agree with all of that, but we got to prepare as if it will happen. So the credit yeah. Yeah. Uh, until the last moment, you can't wait, and then you everybody running a, a skelter, skelter, and then we exactly. can get yourself in a situation like and, and get another chairman like when we get there. Exactly, because even if you go now and ask you what it means, nobody knows. So if people call election exactly. and they're going to tell them it's to me, who are you? People don't know who you are. So you've got to you got to try to get engaged and remain engaged with the people so that if, if and when the time comes for you to ask them for your, your vote, they know who you are. You can't wait until... Right, you can't wait. You know, I know. I know. It's the education, not just yet it, an, an election organization. It may should be more than about elections for the local government. It was Elton. It was. But I'm saying it, it should was be. a it community. Should... It was a community it group. It is a community And then group. suddenly, and then suddenly, I heard that you know, yeah, um, into run into run into elections and all of that. And I say, I know about that, but you know, um, and and so like, look. Oh, you see, oh. I guess we gotta, uh, for example, you don't we gotta know. The objectives of the group, who are the exactly. members of the group, and that type of thing. As I said, now, as I say, now that we have so much being done virtually, I don't see why we can't get this group going, um, organize virtual meetings, just to keep people engaged. We got to keep people engaged. You know, the amount of things that we we did in the ATMA group, you know, and and. Um, well, people were trying to fight us down, but we fought. That that bullshit in front of the um in front of the, the post office, we we built it. We built it. We we that bridge, there was a bridge over the um over by the on the railway embankment. Mm -hmm. And um for, for the children because we were upset about the crossing and for them to go on the, the road on Granville Park, and we built a bridge. Yeah. From the, the, to the road school, to, to going the to the school. school. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We had a fight down. We had a fight down with Henry Jeffrey, you know, and, and then at the end of it, when we were finished, he came and, and we did invite him to come and, and open the bridge. We show him that we finished it and we could have gotten it done. It's a, a set of things that, that we were doing because um it was a community group. We yeah. honored um seniors. When is anniversary? When is the, the anniversary of the village? The village anniversary. We seniors, we, yeah, we went to, to, to the homes, carry hampers and things like that. You know? So, uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, Anyhow, oh, uh, as COVID. Paul is suggesting, I think COVID. I will send <laughs> I will send invitations to you guys for next Saturday evening meeting. And maybe you can you join us and let's talk about some of these things, or we can get the group going. 
Yeah, well, I listen. I listen to hear what 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 is being said, and and you know, I listen to hear what 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 the the, of the present objective of the group is. Okay. I know. I know. I know about the old um the old group, but you know, presently I don't know what it's doing. So I I'd have to listen before I give. Well, of course, them. of course, of course. Before I give know. about liberty and no, no. <laughs> oh, you won't be because you know I think the core. Uh, the core idea behind it to me is still a community-based group looking after, looking out for the development of EV Triumph. Right, right. You know, right. and that is why I think the it may went to the council to ensure that the will of the people would be served because you know the idea is not that uh, it may is against the political parties oh, no. or trying to. To serve the, public, the, 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 the political party's role, but we feel that within our community, we who are on the ground know what our community, the needs of the community, and we will, because these political groups, they invariably serve the wishes of the political parties, Freedom House and Congress Place, what they what they want, and not what the people in the here try and want. We are all old enough, the three of us. I see Joyce just came on. I don't know who is this Joyce. Joyce, you might That's my sister. That's my sister. Okay. okay. And she's way, 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 way wherever she is, and, and she can come on. So yeah. So <laughs> we are all old enough to know that when the village council was taken over by the political groups, there was some disaccord among the what they were doing and what the people needed. Because uh, we lost our the access to our backlands under those people. That would not have happened if people like Paul Slow and Cyril Duncan and John Ali and then continued running the council. I could bet my last penny on that. Because those fellas knew what they had to do for the community. But when the people who went in based on the party's affiliation, they were not concerned about, because most of them were bureaucrats. They were not farmers. They were working for somebody in somebody's office. So they, their day-to-day -day existence did not depend on the back dam. Lord, are we getting people now coming in to this meeting? Yeah. <laughs> so we, what do we do? I mean, this is about time to feel shut down. We, they want our God. Well, but well, it's, if, it's, if, it's village anniversary, right? So, and the tradition is, guy, this time is any time. Good afternoon, Al Quemida. Who is this? Hi, this is Nigel. Oh, He's Nigel. Good yeah, afternoon. Yeah. So why you call yourself Alchemida and not AG? Uh, no, 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 but that's part. Alchemedia is a company that I form also. So oh. um so that deals with Zoom and streaming and all that stuff. Oh, oh, oh. that's where you, they, they got out of part of your business, I see. Yes, yes. But my concern is the bridge repairs that's going on right now. And the access, the access road that we're using right now. Um, I think it's Mary Street. Is that the correct? Is that the correct name? Saint Mary's or Saint Peter's? Saint Peter's. Saint Peter's. Saint. You have Saint Peter's and then Saint Mary's is the one in front of the Saint By the Mary's school. school. All right. So the Saint Peter's Street. Soon as you turn off into Saint Peter's Street, you notice there is a pile of sand almost in the middle of the road impeding the traffic. Well, you see, you see, you see, I was saying, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's that pile of sand there, and that is the main access road now for persons that are using the railway embankment, passing through Triumph BV and heading back to the railway embankment. Now, I think we have a council. Do we have a council in this village or not? Is it functioning or not? <laughs> Nigel. Um, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I want to know if they're seeing the blind is something wrong with, with them that 
Um, there's this pile of sand in the middle, I would say, or almost in the middle of the street, impeding the traffic, and traffic going is going both ways, and nobody seems to be doing anything. But you know, if I had a bulldozer or some kind of bobcat, I would have pushed all the stuff off. You know. Yes, I I will support what you're saying. I will go further. No, the ministry, knowing that this bridge was those bridges would have been should are up for repairs, they should have consulted. There should have been a consultation in the community, because you know I'm living on Jardin Street, right? And you know the I don't know if you came to the street since. Yes, yes, I see what is going on there right now. Okay. Now, what they should have been doing is they should have consulted with us, see what are the, what are the possibility of them of, of using this neighborhood, using the, these streets, and then make the necessary recommendations to ensure that the streets will last at the end right. of the day. Right, but it doesn't seem also, the streets will last. Also, <laughs> also, what they should have done is ensure that, as you were saying, Access must be free. Right. Not, no encumbrances. Exactly. And they should have had people, the, con the contractor, they should have made the contractor or the police direct most of the traffic to the public road. Exactly. Not exactly. Very, you know, so, so as not to have the board name. We have the school by me here. Which I know the people are a lot of people come and drop off the children. Now it's a, it's confusion there in the mornings when the children are coming out. But but Jardin Street um is in a mess right now. It and is. then with this pile of sand almost in the middle of the road, the cars are driving or the vehicles are driving on the shoulders of the road. And yes. that's being destroyed also. You know, are they are they coming that? down to Simpson Street? They're coming down to Simpson Street because uh, Monday or, or yeah, yeah, Monday, yeah, Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday no, they had yeah, a um, heavy traffic um, traffic jam in front here, heavy from both sides, from right. both sides, because oh. and then then I then I heard the complaint about the sun, so people weren't going through there. Right. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna complain or we gonna move the sun tomorrow morning? I spoke <laughs> to the chairman when they for and he said he would have asked the ministry to to deal with it and the police department to deal with the traffic situation but i don't think he did it you gotta deal with the sand you gotta deal with the sand this sand, this sand nobody's supposed to be putting sand in the middle of the road what's wrong with people are they crazy or something well, that is the paper lawlessness we, 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 we yes but the right thing is all what, are true. They, they all right the road now is being used as a bypass road what is the solution can they gonna break up the road the sand is there Right. It's also organized to get something done because if you just sit down and talk, they are not going to do anything. No, but what I'm saying is the council should have taken the initiative to get to the police and the ministry along with clear, clearing the passages so that you divert as much of the traffic away from this year. In my street, at least three, four times a day, you hear people cussing each other. Yes. Because it's a narrow, it's right a narrow street. Yeah. This, the street wasn't really designed right for that type of traffic. Exactly. All well, these things, you see, the, the, one of the problems we have is that we, we do a lot of talking. Huh? Mm -hmm. And in this, in this place, you, you do all the talking, nothing, nothing is going to happen. Trust mm -hmm. me, you have a, you have a, you see, they ain't even aware of the problem. They don't care what is going on. <laughs> Yeah, like and, these guys uh, don't even walk around and see what's happening. And you don't know them. Things. You don't know them. Some of these things require radical action. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, if I, if I had been directly affected, I know I would have, I would have done it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have to go rent a bobcat or something to, you know, make that move. Move it and then, then build the coast. Not necessarily rent a bobcat. If you, you start the diversion, you're so quick, they're going to resolve it. You know, I said to the because chairman. The, the, I, look, the first thing I said that, to the chairman, talk to the police, that. talk to the ministry, no. and deal with it. That yeah. is not going to work. Again, I say you're going to talk. What do, what do you think the police can do? What do you think the ministry can do? The first thing that started a project there, I don't even believe proper notices uh, was given. I, I go out there, there. I think it was one see day. It. Right. And then, then I see, you see it. But that's the what I'm saying. The bridge. I see the eastern part of the bridge. Um, 
break away. Right. And a couple days after, I see the, yeah, the, the western is. part break away, and then they put up things uh, for diversion. That, that that's how, what that I'm saying. Thing. They should have had a, a community meeting and the, and 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 determine what has to be done first before this thing started. I asked him, the chairman, he said, nobody didn't tell you nothing. Well, I said, well, exactly you, because, you because now got to go and tell them what you want because well, it's your village. What, what, hello, I don't know, you are part of the council now. If we see the diversion is destroying roads in the village, you got to take action to deal with that. Right. So who, who's going to fix the roads? The well, ministry he also told me then is that my road is scheduled to be built, rebuilt shortly. But, but well, there, are other, I mean, there, there are other roads, there are other roads that need fixing in this village. So why the road going to be scheduled to rebuild, ag rebuild again? The road was built recently. We, we all know why. We that, all know why. So why? That, why, 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 uh, why, brother, why? That brother, there is St. Mary what? Street by the school, the um, old uh, primary school. That is in a deplorable condition. You can't even All drive the through your potholes. All the cross again. streets from Canterbury, well, Canterbury Walk in a terrible state, and Over all the street. cross streets Needs from um, Canterbury Walk to the sideline dam. So all why are does, in a terrible state. So all are. Just, a year ago, that street was was um, fixed. A year, maybe a year and a half. So yes. why is it on the schedule again to be fixed? And I there are other streets question. that are neglected. Question. I ask that question on my first sitting at the council because I the, just the day before I went there, I saw some fellows from the ministry taking samples. So I asked them what they're doing. They said they, uh, they, they take it, they, they're going to rebuild the road. I said, what about August Street? They said, nobody tell them about that. So when I went to council meeting, I mentioned it. They said, well, um, they do, they do, they're not sure if August Street can build because they get money for do all them streets. But they're doing this one again. Uh, hey, we Why? Let, let me tell you what's likely to happen. With this diversion, you know, very soon, that same street where they diverted the traffic to got broke up. It can broke up. And it almost broke up already. Because you have trucks and all that thing going to be... I come in the other day, I think it was Friday, and big back up back to the thing because of the same sun that um, is, is being uh, spoken about. Because at some yeah. stage, the road as it is, difficult to accommodate two-way traffic, very difficult. Yes. And when you have a, a, a sun taking up halfway the road, you're gonna, it, it, quite logically, it's going to be more difficult. And I am saying that even when or if the sun is removed, it's still a problem. It can be a problem. That's why and so many drivers are going thought, all the way to Simpson I, I, Street as easy. I would have saying, thought. And coming around thought, because they, they, they bought the neck in. I would have thought that what would have happened, people would insist, that whoever got the contract, even the ministry, they, they, were, they would have ensured that they were proper diversions before they break up the difference. Well, that you is what I'm saying. Listen, listen. Like no feasibility studies are being done for anything. So they didn't go and, and check, well, if we're doing this, the, these two bridges, what, what will happen? No, nope, we, we just break down the bridge and we build it. Whatever happened, happened. We That's gonna get happening. me money. We gonna we gonna pay out yeah. and get me money and to hell with them. Okay, yeah, this is happening. Much. Nobody, nobody Alice, care about anybody else. You see, they got to find a way. Nothing is gonna happen. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. you talk too much. Okay, so <laughs> what what we are saying here tonight is that I will make another approach to the council. Write them seriously tomorrow and let them because it's they are representing the village. I mean, but I'm a member of the council. But you're saying so, and they, they should be represented, but they're not representing the village. No, well, then we have to force them to. Well, they're not, they still going to do anything. They still going <laughs> to do anything. These, so then, these things require drastic steps. Yeah, but the council only do things when it affect them, affects them directly, when it impacts them directly. I said that. I said that earlier. We don't have people who are interested in the village, in the development of the village. Every, uh, uh, um, maybe all the councillors, most of them, they're just looking for themselves. That's all they're looking for, what I can get and what I can do for me and not for the village. Some well, of them don't even gonna, know some of the streets in the village. Some of them don't remain, even know some of the streets in the village. We're going to remain where we are. We can't be depending on people who don't have our interests in the Exactly, exactly. 
So you know nothing. So continue. You get to the stage where I am saying again that if I had been directly affected, I know I would have used it. Well, <laughs> what we will have to do, I will approach the ministry. I can't sit down on the road. I won't sit on the road to block it. <laughs> Unless I get somebody else, somebody else with me. <laughs> okay. I won't sit on the road. If I can get anybody else with me, I will stand on the road and block it. But we have to do something. Yeah, and but we, we have to block the road and the stand still there. <laughs> no, we we'll block the road until the sand is removed. Until no, but no, but this, if the sand is the problem. So, what about, the, the, what about the, the person the that owns the sand? The sand yeah, is not get the, to the only person problem. who owns the sand and let her fetch you it in, let her fetch in that. the yard. But that All is not the only problem. The, the bigger problem is they should have done something about the diversion. Oh, directing the diversion, reducing the amount of vehicles that have to come through the, street, the streets. Yes, yes. Um, I don't think there is any need for that type of traffic to pass through better for Wacton at this yeah. time, knowing that we have you narrow the, streets. Got street, you got a street in Grand Hill Park. Why did why they didn't um, let people, you know, go out there? No, and, even up to that and, street is not even proper. That in, one is in not, in not good. They it's should direct the traffic no. from LBI. The bridge is a problem to too. The people who are not coming into BV, at LBI, they should be directed out. Those coming down the road from Box and Side, unless you come into BV, go right. to the public road. Surrend Drive, using Surrend yeah. Drive. To the public road. Oh, Surrend Drive, get them through by um, the, the agriculture road. Or, or, or Dr. Miller Street. Right, all yeah. those roads you can get out, direct them out. Right? So only those coming into BV should come in here, should come through. Well, but no, they just left it, and they, whoever people rush up, they don't know they come through. They gonna cross and drive through the bad road and cross and go down the road. Another thing I noticed the council or whoever does when they clean the drain, they throw all the stuff on the parapet and they leave it the there. Yes. Right, the streets are already narrow. I expect they do it through the narrow with the narrow streets too. Yeah. The streets are already narrow, so they will dig the stuff up and throw all the stuff there, and then they leave it. Then the street, you know, will get more you're narrow. Lucky, you're lucky that the, the, the um, I don't think it's the council. I think it's central government um, dig those kind of um, clean this those This last um, digging was the central government. This last the, digging the was central government. But right, I'm the saying council, the, council the council should have... The and drains are not being dug. Into the um soccer drains and the, the trenches that, that the council control, they are not being dug. They got some men just come around with some cutlass and just chop, 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 and, and that's it. They are not being looked after. So well, that, whoever that, is responsible, whatever, they need to move they need to move the um the stuff off of the parapet. Yeah. And if the council is part of it or the um, you know have the power to let them know well you know they can't just dig the drains throw the mud on the um, narrow streets on the parapet of, of narrow streets but um look we keep talking about the council we have to recognize by now that the council is useless we have a council <laughs> that is useless my, the, the yeah. solution is to uh, the first opportunity to try to replace these people the people are useless they 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 they, they, they are self-serving and look after their own interests of course of course uh, <laughs> well i sure when they when the central government come to do whatever work they're doing, including the bridge that is being done, I sure they don't know because nobody got no respect and regard for them to consult with them. Then right, no, but they don't know. But they people, don't. I sure they don't know that that work was scheduled to be done. No. Just come and do the work, and and they don't have. That the, is the, because the government is also lawless. Now, look, forget. We know that, but you know, if you have if you had a more proactive uh, NDC. They would have taken action to make sure that um, the, the proper thing is done. They would have mm -hmm. taken action. They, they turn up, they turn up, break down the bridge, and put a diversion to an area that you control and you don't know. You take steps to stop them. Yes. 
It's no cricket will be resolved. Well, well, anyway, we, we got to do something. So okay. you guys so, know where to find me. <laughs> I will find you. I will come on your TV. We can go on the, the TV should, and start the productions. One of the things that we should look at, and as I think somebody suggested, find out who's the sand it is, and ask them to remove it. I, the sand belongs to the person who owned the house. It's opposite. The that, that the and, sand belongs. The sand belongs. You know. You know. Again, drastic steps. All you got to do is uh, organize to get something to level the thing. The same, the same excavator when they get walking outside for the bridge there, for level the same sun. Yeah. But normally when people bring sand into the village to, to, to do construction or whatever, you fetch it off. the sand in your You're yard. You're supposed to fetch it off within a certain uh, time. No. I know that I, I bring sand in front here and, and uh, people telling you you got to get the sand off the road by a, by, by a certain, within a, a within number of days. days. That, don't, that don't happen now. I have pictures. I come in there a day, some couple of years back, and in the middle of the road, somebody dumped a load of sand and no attempt was being made to... Um, to, to remove it. Last week, I think it was last week or before the last, I stood on my veranda and I see a big truck backing over this bridge into Cummins Street, Cummins Lane. And I, I observed, I said, I tell you, I believe this you were going to dump the sand in the middle of Cummins Lane. I went out to the driver and said, driver, I hope you're not going to dump the sand in the middle of this road and block all traffic. He watched me, he watched me and, and, and he think he called the next one. You know, that's what they were about to do. That is what they were about to do. And oh, I said, let boy. me tell you something. You aren't, I'm not going to allow you all to drop this truck in the middle of this road. Nothing can travel east, nothing can travel west until whatever time um, this time is. And then eventually, I think they got tilted to the sideline and put it in a corner and then had to fetch it back. That's, That's the type of people we have selfish, irresponsible people. Exactly. Very selfish. That in that street that we're talking about has been there for weeks, if not months. Months. It's been there. Yeah, but if, if if you're doing work, if you're doing work in your in your yard, this fine sand, sand in. Yes, you could get zinc sheets and, and, and put it what, down and and, and what put the, the council, fetching your what sand. What the council needs to do now is to tell them, give them 24 hours to remove the sand yes. into the yard. Trailing which? Trailing which? They got a bobcat or something and just level the sand in the street. Yeah. That is what they gotta do. So if they don't if they want the sand, put it in, put it away from the road. All right, give them they might argue, they might argue that they put it there, they don't expect this diversion and all of that. But now that you have the diversion and that it's the sun is, is an impediment, you gotta move to get the sun off the road. Because that bridge that they're doing there is not gonna how things go in this country, that is not gonna be finished just now, you know. Like and one, get another one. six weeks. That bridge get exactly. another six weeks. Six like, months, one. six weeks. <laughs> six months. So yeah, the second was six weeks. Well, yes, that's what they about, say. No, they take about, about major, six weeks. You're talking right. about major disruptions there. And yeah. six weeks with all the vehicles running on the road. And in this rainy season that's coming on, the old park with everything on Rico. Yes, definitely. That is why I'm saying they need to divert the traffic to the public road. In the four senses, the majority of the traffic should be diverted. Yeah. All right, fellas, you guys have a good night. Yes, I gotta, I gotta we, had, we would have been gone right, if you yeah. come in and keep me back, Nigel. And yes. yes, because of one hour. <laughs> no, but I, I was listening to you guys and nobody raised that topic. Oh, 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 you are outside. Okay, then. Take care. All right, take care. Oh, yeah. Yes, bye. All right. Bye. Thanks for coming on, everybody. All right. Uh -huh. Not it.